Coming off what many analysts called an election night victory for Ken Paxton, asserting his influence over Texas's court system, the attorney general's office is now looking to enact stricter oversight of local district attorneys. New rules proposed to the state government code would require district attorneys in urban areas to make quarterly and annual reports to the AG, including things like case files regarding any decision to indict a police officer and all correspondence regarding any decision not to indict a person arrested for committing a violent crime. Why are these counties being, you know, um, how can I say this, signaled out for um, this type of treatment? doesn't presume that they're guilty. It's just if the OAG, the Office of the Attorney General, is going to look into this, why wouldn't he look into it in all 254 counties? That rule qualifies urban counties as having a population of more than 250,000 people, which, based on the latest census data, could qualify as many as 22 counties with both Democrat and Republican DAs. That includes Harris County, Dallas County, Bear County, and in Central Texas, Travis County, Williamson County, and Hayes County. In a statement, Ken Paxson says these enhanced reporting standards will create much-needed transparency and enable the public to hold their elected officials accountable. Travis County District Attorney Jose Garza was unavailable for comment, but we spoke to him last week about the pressure from Republicans in the state legislature. You don't think that that's at all going to intimidate the way that your office handles cases over the next four years? Absolutely not. Um, the, the legislature has been um, clear that the job of the prosecutor is not to seek um, convictions, but to see that justice is done. But pushback, should any come from district attorneys, may not mean much. According to Paxton, we're in the midst of a 30-day comment period, but after that, it's going to be up to Paxton and his office whether or not to implement that rule, which could take effect as soon as next month. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.